Today, the Ravens made a significant move ahead of the start of free agency as they placed a franchise tag on outside linebacker Matthew Judon. Now, this isn't necessarily a surprise. GM Eric DaCosta said at the Combine last month that this was likely going to happen. But now that it's done, let's take a look at the ramifications. First of all, it means that the Ravens hold Judon's rights through the 2020 season. But it's tough to predict where things go from here. Now, the franchise tag does give the two sides some more time to work out a long-term extension. So that's still on the table here. But the long-term deal is also an opportunity for the two sides to work out that deal. And that's the ideal scenario. Now, they'd have to agree on a price, and it's unclear exactly what Judon is looking to get. He's coming off the best season of his career, where he notched nine and a half sacks, and he's certainly an attractive player. A potential comparison for a contract would be Zadarius Smith, who obviously last year signed with the Packers on a four-year, $66 million deal when he left the Ravens. Now, another option for the Ravens would ultimately be to trade Judon, and there have been reports speculating about that possibility but a trade will likely depend on what happens over the course of free agency and maybe even the draft. Now, any way you look at it, Judon is in line for a significant pay increase this season. Keep in mind, he's a fifth round pick, so even if he ends up playing this year on the one-year franchise tag, it's still a significant jump from the earnings in earlier during his career. So we're gonna have to wait and see how this plays out over the course of the next week, and we'll keep you posted on everything happening in free agency. To stay on top of all of it, make sure you download the latest version of our mobile app and turn on those push notifications. That's it for me, but thanks for watching and have a very nice weekend.